In this video, I will be showing you how you can connect between Facebook lead generation form to Zapier. So Zapier have a new way of connecting between these two. Previously, it is done rather easily, but now they have a new features and that's why this new video comes out. And if you want to know how you can still use the legacy, the old method of using the, the Zapier that's available, you can watch to the end of the video and I'll show you how you can do it as well. To see what you can do with Facebook lead ads and also in Zapier, I have a video up there as well where I connect them with Google Sheet and email. So you can have a look into that video as well if you're interested. And now if you're brand new to this channel, hi, I'm Ken and I help businesses to grow using digital marketing. And if you're interested in topics such as digital marketing entrepreneurship, do subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. With that, Let's go into my computer and I can show you how you can connect these two. Let's go. All right. So first of all, go to Zapier. So a little bit reminder for this to work, to have the Facebook lead gen to link into Zapier, you will need to have a paid version of Zapier. So it's not a free plan. I'm using free plan right now, but I'm on a trial. So I have accounts which is paid as well, but this is just for this video to test things out. All right. So, a bit, so this is a a reminder you need to have a paid version of zap in order for this to work well now let's go into connecting between the facebook the lead gen forms with the zapier account so previously it is simple all you have to do is just link the facebook account then you can access to all the pages and all the forms now it's a little bit difficult a bit different so let me show you how you can do this right so first of all you go to create zap and if you still prefer the old method do not worry, I will show you how you can do it before they change it, right? So this video might not be relevant, especially the last part after a while. But for now, you still can use the old method of the linking the Facebook profile and then linking it to Zapier. But now let me show you the new method that they introduced inside Zapier, okay? So now I'll create new Zap ready. So I just named this Zap, for example, okay? So now you, have, you can see here Facebook lead ads, right? Just click on this. You choose the trigger event new lead then you go continue so now i just have to sign in to facebook lead ads sign in first so i'm signing in to my facebook account let's continue and then continue when you click continue you will come into here that's business manager facebook page and ad account so it's automatically populated i will suggest if it's not there you can click on it and search your business manager that you want to connect facebook page that you want to connect ad account that you want to connect right then you click continue continue and when you click continue, there's a few things that you need. You need to have all this access, right? Read through the access, uh, manage your business, etc. etc. All you do is just click next. Yep, and your link. So now click done. And it should appear here, right? Continue. Then your default form. I have a few form, I think. Yeah. So just click one, continue. Then you can test your trigger. Continue. Then you're connected. Then all you have to do is, for example, you want to connect to Google Sheet, right? All you have to do is just connect to Google Sheets. Then you can connect Google Sheets. So every time when this lead come in, they can appear. Or if you have like an active campaign, you can connect the active campaign direct. So when they come in, you can immediately go into your list or as well, or you can go to email. Email by Zapier. So when there's a new list come in, you can always ask Zapier to send you an email. So there's a lot of application you can do with Zapier. So once you do this, you're connected, right? So when you run ads, the lists are coming in, then you will appear whatever next action you want, whether by email, send to your autoresponder or to your Google Sheet. Now, this is the new method, which I find it a bit difficult because I need to choose one by one, right? Uh, I prefer the older method where you can have one account and then you can have all the pages and all the forms there automatically. Let me show you how you can still do it, even though they have already kind of pushed this away. Okay, so now let's go back, go to Zapier. So anyway, I do show this because this is a new feature because the old legacy one might be gone as mentioned earlier. So just this is just for information. All right, uh, these onwards are just for information. So if it's still there, then that's good. If it's not, then use the new one. All right. Now let's go to my app, and then you see all the ads. Right. Then you see there's this thing called Facebook Lead Ads Legacy. So all you have to do is just you see I have uh, 34 zaps. I, I prefer this over the new one. Right. So all you have to do is just add connection. Then you find for Facebook. Then you search for the legacy one. Facebook leads at legacy. Now it's still available. So click on it. And then you can add connection. I have added my connection already. So add connection is simpler than what we've done previously where you need your business manager, ads account and page. Here you just need to add your Facebook page. 
So it makes things easier, much easier, especially when you're running an agency. So I've added here, for example, this is number two. So all you have to do now is just click view app info. Just click on this. So you can just click on connect Facebook lead as legacy to wherever, wherever. Just click on this and there. Now you created the zap for the Facebook leads as legacy method, right? I have a video previously on how to use this, right? Um, so I'm not going to go through very deep on this, uh, but yeah, you can just immediately just trigger event, new lead. Uh, you will see it's fast easier. Continue. Then you can just choose account, the second one, right? Can you see? Then you just click continue. Then all you have to do is search for page. You can. Um, Okay, so now all you have to do is just search from the page, click on it, find the form, right, and just continue. You see, it is easier and much faster than what you have to do in the new method where you have to put in everything inside, right? So that's why I, I do prefer this over the new one, but just in case that people were to put this out, at least you can have the new method to get it ready. So that, the new method is not that friendly for, for me, I feel. I still prefer this. I know I've been repeating a few times. So yeah, this is how you can link the Facebook lead generation form with Zapier and then you can just create multiple action that you can use in Zapier. Yep, hope this is useful. I hope this video is useful for you. You might send it to people that or share it to people that need it. Yeah, if you like what I share, do give you a thumbs up or a like. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, do subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future video. This channel talks about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, this channel is for you. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video and I see you in my next video. Goodbye!